Hi, it's Jules here from Jules Designs and Duty Creations. So I'm here to do some more book page ephemera. I've um, just been using old book pages. The actual pockets, um, I didn't um, invent myself. I got them from, I think it was Rachel at Roxy Creations in one of her uh, Roxy weekly challenges. But what I did do, instead of um, decorating them with, I've got glue on my hands, sorry, decorating them with scraps of paper, um, I decided to do some stamps and watercolours and try out some pens that I got from a, a cheap shop here in Britain. Um, this will be a tuck spot I need to glue it there so the pens are the, um, from B&M's and they're called aqua markers and I think there's 72 in the set and you get them in like sets of browns oranges and yellows pinks and reds purples blues blues and greens um, so this is what I'm using they are um, they, they work well with with water um, so you can make them look like watercolours and they're dual tipped they have a brush tip and a fine tip as well so they're great for colouring in and they're great for doing fine detail um, some of the things I was trying um, on my messy page here where I was working I don't know whether you can see it I was actually putting the marker on the stamp itself and stamping it and the same with that the only thing is it's not bright enough to go on on a book page so if you wanted to decorate um, some plain paper or more subtle paper or if you put gesso and um, you could cover your your writing a bit with gesso so this is what we're going to do so it is all book paper I'm using although I have got some it's an ordnance survey um, book. It's quite a modern book. Um, I got in a thrift shop and I've just coffee dyed it. So it is maps. So ideal for a travel journal. Although these aren't places abroad. Um, they're all places in England, Portsmouth. Um, so I might use some of those as well. But the one of the things that I did like it, I don't like an old sepia map. Um, but I'm not sure whether I would be able to print anything on there. I've also got um, a, a brown vintage sepia uh, Versafine uh, ink pad as well, just to try. Um, okay so we'll get on with it so how is everybody i hope you're all great um i should have been filming from cyprus however um my husband because he'd had covid and although he was through the isolation and everything um didn't he still got a positive um score so we had to change our flights, so we're going down to London, flying down to London on Saturday and going out from Gatwick Airport in London on on Sunday. So this is just a book page. It's um let me see. It's eight inches by just over five and a quarter I don't bother measure I just sort of like look at it and think that's where I want my pocket I don't fold it right down I just fold it so far down um, I might round off the corners I'm going to trim that raggy edge off although you don't have to sometimes I leave the, the raggy edge on So that's all I do to prepare it. Now what I might do is I might do the stag's head again. I quite like the stag's head. Living in Scotland, I've got lots of thistles um, because I used to do wedding stationery. 
um, and obviously when they're they have thistles on their invites and things like that so I do like the thistles I also like that one I had a set of them and um, I think I've loaned them out and I've never got them back and I thought that was quite a nice one as well it's just uh, I don't know whether you can see it um, it's quite nice and a little Celtic it's heritage, um, little Celtic knot. So the only thing about doing the stag's head, it has to go part over the, the pocket, which looks okay. I'm just checking. So I'm going to do it on this side there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the Versafine. So it looks more of a, a sepia colour. I've not used this. Um, when I was prepping, I just was playing about with the pens and I've also got some like aquarelle crane, wax cranes that are, are water soluble as well. Um, so I'm just, hopefully that'll, yep. Right, so I think what we'll do is we'll look for a, a brown, a couple of browns here. Um, I'm not quite sure which ones are. I've got the full set, I just kept buying them um, week by week. Uh, every time I went up the town, uh, I got my little granddaughter a set as well. Because she had her eyes on mine. Right, so I don't know whether they have any colours on them. No. Oh, they do. So that's natural oak. Brick brown. And brown grey. So I think we'll try the brown grey first. So we'll put that round his nose. Sorry. And inside his ears. I think stags do tend to be a little bit darker than this, but try that. Um, what's this one? Oh, that's potato brown. <laughs> what colour? Potato brown. No, that's a bit too red. We'll try the natural oak. Now it is the brush tips I'm using. That's a lot darker. Maybe it's a bit too dark. Um, oh, sorry about that. <coughs> Standing on my sewing machine this is leather brown now that's the no it's a bit orangey no sorry I'm going back to oak brown thing is with this being old paper as well it's just um taken in the the ink from the pen, um, it's just going straight in. They're not alcohol pens, they are water soluble pens. I'm not the greatest of colouring. But once you get the, the water on, I mean you don't have to, you can just colour them in with your alcohol markers or you can use watercolour pens, pencils and go over them. That oh, looks a bit bitty. So what we'll do is we'll see what this is. Oh, very good. P 
paintbrush and I'm going to need to get a different paintbrush. Little stubby one, that's better. That grey brown's going a bit mustardy yellow, so I think we need to cover that up a bit. And as I say, this is sunk in quite a bit, so it's drying out with the paper. Yep, made a lovely splodge there, but it doesn't matter. I mean, probably if, <laughs> if it doesn't work. We'll leave that one to dry. If it doesn't work, it'll go. It'll get a piece of paper put over it. Um, and I think we'll have some leaves um, on one. So I'm just going to get some more leaf pages. Some of my old books I can't use because they're, they're quite, um, right, which way is this one? That's that way, so I want one this way, one that way, and I will cut the raggy edge off. Also, my... Um, this doesn't like cutting any of these either so I'm looking for a spare bit of paper. If you find that you've got paper um, that your punch doesn't like because it's either too old, um, too thin, sometimes if you put a, another piece of paper behind it you find that it won't cut. Perfect. If I'd just put that in, it would have just creased it. Um, I was looking at there it is. I don't even have to ink this because the <laughs> the edges of the paper are brown anyway. There's like watermarks on it. Um, I think this book's from 1932. I've got some from sort of like the 19, early 1900s and a few from the late 1800s. All right, because I'm going to cut that frilly edge off that's been joined into the book. I'm just, and I will go over it again. Right, so what leaves are we going to try? We've got fern here. Um, right, I need some. Because I packed up to, to go away on holiday, I've packed all my favourite bits and pieces that I like using. And I never took them out. Right, let me look at this. Stick her on there. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour this with the, and we'll see how this goes. So all I'm doing is taking the brush part of the brush marker and just colouring the stamp. You can use different coloured greens, um, you know, you could put some darker greens on it. So we'll see what this one turns out like. 
and just breathe in on it. I've, I've had a hold of it a few times <laughs> so I'm not that frightened of it but it just wants to go somewhere where it's warm so there you are so that's that one so what we'll do is we will glue that when I find my glue I've put things away to sort of like to to be ready for this and then I don't know where I've put them I will, I will stitch this, um, but obviously I won't do that on camera. And I think my glue's coming to an end. I really need to have a sort out because I keep buying new glues and, oh, that's a bit much. I thought it was just a tiny bit that was going to come out. Yeah, buy a new glue and then I stop using the one that I was using before. So I've got like little bottles and pots and things. Now I'm going to use the nice bright green because I love this green. There is one there in the set that's called Techno Green, but it's a bit iridescent. So I've seen lots of thistles, but I've never seen an iridescent one. But if you were doing uh, modern art, you could have an iridescent green. You could even have an orange and yellow thistle if you wanted I think. I'm just going to put a little bit of blue down here. I'm just going to use this dark blue. Now all I'm doing is breathing on the stamp just to active it just your breath is just I think damp enough I tried earlier on um spritzing it but um see it's not very see what I did earlier on was I spritzed it but it was wasn't fine enough so I'll do a second stamp on here I'll show you yeah, and that actually looks better, but I can't get that one over there. So what we'll do is we'll we'll see if we can work this one with the water. Sorry if I go quiet when I'm doing this, when I'm concentrating on things. And I 
don't know what to do so I'll use a little bit of fine point I made my sister an Outlander journal. She's right into Outlander. Um, so I've made um, designed papers for Outlander. It's more for Claire's notes because she liked her herbs and that would have been into medicine. Um, and I put thistles and everything because my sister lives down south and she obviously she's looked to see where where it was filmed and some of it's just sort of like five minutes away from where I live and she keeps saying I'm coming up I'm coming up you'll need to take me and I'm like I'll take it but it doesn't look anything like that because obviously the areas and buildings that they um, filmed they then enhance them um, so that they, you know, they look like old buildings like uh, Kouros just down the road from us. I mean, it's all white buildings, but when you see it in the film, it's like dark grey. So obviously they've, you know, their editing skills are excellent. So there, so that's, that one is better. I should have done it like that but I can't change it now so what I might do is I think I've got it more or less there so now you can see it, you can see the lines. So we've got the bug. And I'm looking to see if I have any, any number stamps. I did have some number stamps. I think, they, I think I've packed them. And I wasn't really wanting to get them out again. Um, wait, we'll try some of these. These are just stamps that I've got from AliExpress and um, I stopped, obviously stopped buying them. Um, found out that the... Put this on here. A lot of them are copies, um, which isn't fair to the, the people that make them. There we are, number three. 